welcome everyone. Today's video will be about Roman numerals. Now Roman numerals is one of those numerical systems that have been around for over 2,000 years. This system uses letters to represent numbers. We have I and this represents 1, V represents 5, X represents 10, L represents 50, C represents 100, D represents 500, M represents 1000. And we use these seven key letters to create all other numbers. Roman numerals uses the principle of addition and subtraction. Lower value numerals come after higher value numerals we add. For example, if we had x i, x is 10, i is 1, so we have a lower value coming after a higher value, so we'd add them. So x i is 11. Likewise, if we had d c, we know that d is 500, and C is 100, so DC is 600. Second principle states that when a lower value numeral comes before a higher value, we subtract. If we had IV, we know that I is 1 and the V is 5, so we realize that a lower value comes before a higher value. So in this case, we would subtract. So it would be 5 minus 1 to give us 4. So IV is equal to 4. Another example, if we had CD, we know that C is 100 and D is 500. We have a lower value before a higher value, so we would subtract. So it would be 500 minus 100 to give us 400. What if we had XC? X is 10 and C is 100. So we would subtract to get 90. Let's work an example. So we have LXXVII, and we want to write the number for this Roman numeral. L is 50, X is 10, 5, V is 5, and I is 1. So if we look on the numbers here, we realize that we are going in descending order. R the lower values are after the higher value. In this case, we would add it. So it would be 50 plus 10 plus 10 plus 6 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1, which gives us 78. Here's another example. We have MCMXCIX. -X. Now we know that M is 1,000, C is 100, M is 1,000, X is 10, E is 100, I is 1, and X is 10. We remember that position is very important. So this M will be 1,000. CM, we realize that a lower value is before a higher value. Therefore, we know that would subtract. So this would be 1,000 minus 100, which gives us 900 we realize that we have another lower value number before a higher value. So in this case, again, we are going to subtract 10 from 100 to give us 90. The final two numbers are also subtraction, but the 10 minus 1 gives us 9. So it will be 1,000 plus 900, so 1,999. Third example, we have CCLVI, P is 100, L is 50, V is 5, and I is 1. So we, we see that we're going in a descending order where the lower values are after the higher value. So in this case, we'll just add. So 100 plus 100 gives us 200, 50, 5 plus 1 gives us 6. So it is 256. Now, if you are given a number and you're asked to write it in, Roman numerals, we use the same concepts. So we know that when a number includes a 4 or a 9, that 
some subtraction will go on. So here we see we have 44. So what two letters give us 40? L is 50 and X is 10. The case in which we will get 40 is if the lower value is before the higher value. So it would have to be XL. So that is 40. And 4 would be the same concept. We'd put the lower value before the higher value. So it would be IV. So 44 is XL IV. What about 2,494? How do we write 2,000? So we know that M is 1,000. So 2,000 would be MM. How do we write 400? So we know that 100 minus so 100 minus 500 gives us 400. XC and 4 is 5 minus 1. So it will be IV. Let's look at 995. Now 900 is 1,000 minus 100. So it will be 1,000 minus 100 and would we'll write the lower value first. So it is CM, 90 is 100 minus 10. So it will be XC because we are writing the lower value before. And five is V, so we write the V. The final example that we're looking on today is 774. So 700, how do we write 700? So we know that D is 500. And if we add two hundreds to that, we will get 700. So DCC is 700. 70. 70. L is 50. And if we add two tens, we'll get 70. And 4 is 5 minus 1. And because we're subtracting, we have to put the lower value before the higher value. So therefore, it is B-C-C-L-X-X-I-V. Just remember, lower after higher, you add. And lower before higher, you subtract. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. Have a great day.